Hey everyone, Kyle once again. Welcome back to another movie review, and this time, um, I'm here to review of Kung Fury. Kung Fury, they, they, which is a fan film that came out um, in the mid, in the mid, in mid, the middle of 2015, and Kung Fury is a is a 30 minute fan fan video or fan movie. It was released on YouTube. And what I have to say about Kung Fury is that I I love I love I love this movie to death. I do. Kung Fury has been by far the best fan film that I've seen in forever. Best fan film that I've ever seen hands down. And for for what I have to say is that for a 30 minute fan film very low budget which they made like around 600,000 is absolutely amazing. Everything about it I would say is about it is amazing. And what you know what thing is that's um um this is what Hollywood, you know, for movies of today should be taking notes on. Because of all like the, the these huge budgeted films of today, you know, this is what they should be taking notes from from Kung Fury. You know, for a, for a, for a thirty minute video or thirty minute film, very low, extremely low budget, that has much better like effects. You know, in the film, everything is, that's thrown in this film is better than some of the films of today. And that's what's sad about it. You know? There are films that I enjoyed in 2015. You know, Avengers Age of Ultron. Um. Ant-Man. Um. Even some of the action films, like, um, what was that? Well, horror, including horror films, too. I, I enjoy Cooties. Um. Well. Just among the other films that I enjoyed in 2015. That's action and stuff like that, but, um, and this is definitely, this is, a, from when I did my favorites list, I think, I believe I put this out as my fourth favorite, though, but, um, but the ones that were my top four, I love just as much, but, um, if I had to put a particular order, though, but, pardon me, I wish I, wish I, wish I put that number one, though, but, um, but it doesn't. But it doesn't matter. It doesn't make I like. The, I love the film less about if I put it on whatever our list does. It doesn't matter because I love this movie. I love it. I love it. I love it. And if anyone who still hasn't yet seen this this fan film, I strongly, highly recommend check it out. Kung Fury. I highly recommend it because it has everything you got about it. And best of all, it pays. It, it makes an homage to the eighties. Which that's the main reason I loved it. One of the main reasons I loved about it because it paid homage to the '80s, you know, with the music and making it like the quality wise like an '80s movie, and I love and I actually loved it. And the film is about it's like it's, it's it's over the top, you know, with action. It's it's just packed. It's packed in over the top action, gore, um, craziness. A lot of very very a lot of funny things I enjoyed about it, like um, well how the opening you know how it shows like um, even about the the people that made this you know like uh, like laser unicorn that the, the, the like the company that helped made this thing even that's a that's a, that's a cool thing for a company called laser unicorn, and then it opens up you know like an like an old like an old um opening title you know like it shows you know a lot of movies that shows like. You know the location, what year it is, how it shows like my Miami, 1985, how the way it looks is like you seen from an old 80s movie, and then and basically when you say about over the top and stuff, you know it's like, okay, the shows like this is cop talking to these guys like, do you have a permit for those guns? And the guy just uses a skateboard and hits his his hits his end, kicks his end of the skateboard, makes the car instantly fly up into the air, and they all shoot at it and instantly blows up, or. A guy just kills, randomly kills a guy to get the guy's stereo, just like, pfft, you know, and takes the guy's stereo, you know. 
or back in the it shows in this old school, this old school arcade game, you know, arcade showing all the old fashioned arcade games. And this arcade game just just comes to life, gives him the middle thing, the, the middle finger, and just blows up heads up. And like how is the it's when it's running low on power is that um, it takes a, it needs a, it needs a coin to put itself in to recharge itself. Everything about this is what I loved about. I loved about this. this is what films of today. Well, even though they're films I did enjoy, but the ones I say that other films, this is what they need to take notes from from this film. It does even it does, it does it's a lot better than some of the, it makes this for a thirty minute fan film. It's more creative, more imaginative, inventive ideas. Over you know the thing is that this is, makes it way better than the films of today. You know that is what Hollywood should be taking notes from. And that's what's sad about it. Um, for the films that, like the, like the big films that came out in um, 2015, Kung Fu I would say is easily best. You know, it's easily better than um, Furious Seven, which I was all right. I was it was all right though. But even though I didn't hate it though, it's a lot better than Furious Seven. Um, Kung Fu it's it's even better than. Probably the Hunger, the Hunger Games, the, the last the last Hunger Games movie, or even better than James Bond, or well, I still haven't yet seen Spectre though. But just 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 saying, so I can't judge on that though. But um, or even the comfort is it's even better than it's even better than even the new Star Wars movie. Even though the effects of Star Wars, I always said they're really the special effects of Star Wars are always were solid, very good special effects. Though, but Kung Fu, I love Kung Fu more than than Star Wars: The Force Awakens, hands down. Or or even better, yeah, this is what even the film that came out this year that um, and yes, I did see, and yes, I did see, and I absolutely hated the movie, Kung Fu. I always say Kung Fu is even ten times better than Batman vs Superman. I'm saying it right now. Yes, I, I, I did see Batman vs. Superman, and I hated that movie. Kung Fury is ten times better than Batman vs. Superman, in which the title Batman vs. Superman is, is false. That's why I'll even say that, that that movie's even better than that. Because, like, so like I said, the over-top gore, action, martial arts... Throwing out those things, you know, like the arcade machine coming to life, giving the middle finger, um, just blowing up, blowing up heads, giving, and even to give a, a triceratop, you know, a, a cop that has a head of a triceratops, um, you know, which, it, it, you know, you see, there's also, there's also this big battle against Hitler as well, and all these Nazis, and this triceratop, that's what I'm calling it, shooting Nazis right in the right between the legs, you know, in the balls or even in the tingling area, basically. Um, and, the, and the and the effects of the the triceratops are very good, very good, very good effects for a low budget film. That's very good at looking at effect, or or the quality of looking like an, an old um, video game, like um, those old those old fighting games, like Mortal Kombat, you know, basically, yeah, or. Even throwing like this this big guy Thor, this he was a giant and it just, it's just it's just throwing in everything, all the crazies. You got to get women with machine guns and um or even even a freaking T Rex. The effects of the T Rex I thought was really well done. And the the effects of that T Rex in Kung Fury is a lot better than some of the very she effects of dinosaur of the, those dinosaur films that I ranted on like Rise of Dinosaurs or um. Age of Dinosaurs, or even the Dinosaur Experiment, or Jurassic City that I rented on, Ice Road Terror. The effects of this T-Rex in this movie, or the Triceratops, or even the Raptors that shoot lasers, are a hell of a better effects than those crappy dinosaur films that I that I ranted on. And this is me even though those meant to be like lower budget films as well, but this film is, is low budget, and this has done better effects of those dinosaurs than those other shitty-ass dinosaur films that I ranted on. You can still check out those films out. It's still there. So, yeah. A T-Rex. Um, 
even the the, the the music that was like referencing for the 80s i absolutely absolutely enjoyed enjoying this i enjoy the soundtrack um the get the league i would play you know play for kung fury he did an absolute great job or even you have um and even there, there's a one that especially speaking with the music and the soundtrack by the end of the song there's a song called true survivor it's it was even a good song that's even that's done by David Hasselhoff, really enough. I thought that was a good song that was that was by done by David Hasselhoff, really. And even even did does a, a music video as well. And even he has a little cameo as the voice of this car named the uh, was the. Oh, I had to look at what is it? Um, Hoff Nine Thousand, the car. He has it has he has his voice, you know. I thought that was a, a fun cameo um, appearance there by David Hasselhoff as well. And the film, like I said, the man is like the imagination, um, entertainment, creative, inventive, over the top. You know, it's meant on purpose, though, because it's meant to be. It's especially paying homage to the '80s. You know, it's it's just meant to be. It's not to be taken that serious, but it's trying to make it sound serious, but it's not because that's why it makes it funny. And like I said, it takes place in Miami, in 1985, and. Um, or the, uh, guy, I'm just calling the guy Kung Fury, um, he's fighting this, a machine, and, and what, how, how way it looks, like, it may, you know, also referencing, like, the old VHS tapes, which I still do watch, I still, I still watch old VHS tapes, call me old-fashioned, but I still watch VH, old VHS tapes, and how they reference in that, you know, is, like, he's fighting this machine, and then, um, you know, of course, you know how, like, an old VHS tape sometimes, it's when it's bad quality, how it tends to screw up sometimes, you know, like, messing, messing up the picture. They do they do a reference of that, you know. And it's like, oh, what happened? You messed up with the cool, all the cool parts. It's meant to reference to, I'm referencing that. Um, and just everything looks well done for such a very low budget film, like, about over, it's like a little over 600,000, what they were trying to do, like, about a million, but they got um, raised like enough money wherever they had to make, you know. For them for that amount of money it's very it's a very well done for making this spectacular thirty minute fan film that's even better than some of the stuff of today. Which is sad to say. Even though there are some films I enjoy back in twenty fifteen, this film is definitely the best fan film that I've ever seen. I'm sure a lot of people say that as well. That's like the best fan film that they've ever seen as well. But and of course, of course, if, there, if people don't like the film, that's their opinion, though. But I don't think I've. Well, I'm sure. Well, I'm sure there hasn't been people who dislike the film, though. But I love it. For what? For how? How they made the film? I just loved every bit of it. It's a film. This is three minute film that I find no problems whatsoever. And or another funny scene where Kung Fury. Um, I'm just calling him that, um, which, yeah, that's his name, Kung Fury, <laughs> duh, but, um, he gets, he gets a, he gets a phone call, and he's being told by someone, and he just goes and crushes the phone, <laughs> um, or even the scene where Kung Fury, he gets killed, um, like, and there's another thing I thought was a really well done animation, because when he, he gets killed, it's like a dream he goes into, and, it's it makes it the animation it makes it look like it's an old eighties cartoon, an old eighties cartoon, which I thought was very wonderfully well made, and then there is this cobra that's talking to him, and he's like he's like um you're dead, and and then um he says no you're obstructing a police officer you know. And he tells him, "No, you're dead." And he says, "No, you're, obstru you're obstructing a police officer." And he tries to he tries to hit the snake, and and um, tries to tries to kick it, and the you know, and then all of a sudden he just goes back, he just goes back down, and he's alive again, and just <laughs> it just makes me, it just makes me bring, it just makes it just brings a big smile on my face, seeing for for the whole, for the whole time. It's a, it's a third man fan film. I, I keep on repeating myself though, but. A third of my fan films is better than some of the films of today, and that's what that's what's sad about the. This is what Hollywood should take notes on, you know. <laughs> For the money they they did with this movie, they made some of the effects and action and gore, whatever. It's better than some of the films of today, and that's what's sad about it. This is what they should take notes from. 
instead of you know, wasting money on pointless uh, remakes and reboots and stuff, just why do focus on making like something like this, you know, which was in, which is creative, imaginative, um, inventive ideas, especially, especially with over the, it's over the top, you know, like on action and stuff. Kind of like reminds of kind of like reminded of um, Last Action Hero with Arnold Schwarzenegger, which was like over the top on purpose, <laughs> with over the top action and stuff, you know, with Arnold's action stuff. <laughs> Which I do, I really do enjoy Last Action Hero, you know. That's what it was supposed to, supposed to, that's what it was supposed to, like, over the top on purpose. But, uh, but this is, but this is, I, I, this is, like, way more of the top, which I absolutely did enjoy. Um, and then, and then you have, um, like, like, it's all, it's like this battle against Hitler, all this, against Hitler, and... You got, got hundreds of Nazis, and there's like he shows the the giant Thor how he's just he's just like how he's just killing all these Nazis like he's just like he's like even kicking heads off and um or you have these two women with guns like machine guns the ones I think was like was like an Uzi or this was other type of weapon um or even throwing in the mix of a guy named Hacker or he's, he's like called Hacker Man how he transforms himself into a robot that looks like old fashioned computers. And then, you get, and then once again, you got the once again that I mentioned about the triceracop, really well done effect of the triceracop, how the head looks like, you know, and just shoot all the all of all the Nazis in the nuts, <laughs> or even a person where there's a or there's a person I think it was like Kung Fury's partner where there's this ninja and cuts him in half. Not like not like like this. Like I mentioned in my review of Kingsman: The Secret Service, how at the beginning of the film that Kingsman agent got cut in half. He got cut in half like this by Gazelle, the one with the sore legs. But the guy got cut in half like, like about um, like from from this angle here, from that side up, from this side, and like his face, like is going falling flat like this, you know, like that, just like Kingsman: Secret Service, but done from a different uh, direction. And even, like I said, even, even Kingsman the Secret Service, even though I didn't follow in the comic book, you know, that has some very creative and inventive ideas as well with the fireworks, the heads exploding like fireworks and colorful, you know. That was, that was another idea that I, I never thought of or never seen before. So, yeah. Um, and then you have, um, you know, when uh, Kung Fury, he's fighting against Hitler, um, he, like, he does the splits and he punches... He punches Hitler right in the right between the legs and the balls, and he goes flying up in the air. Or you have the battle with the T Rex is fighting this golden eagle that things like Hitler's bodyguard, I think it was, or trying to protect him or something. The, the T Rex fighting against that, the golden eagle, and everything is just everything is just so over the top in just the action and violence, gore, and. I, I just I just loved about it and and there was a point where um when they had to go back because um because Hitler was like in the press you know and they had to go back in time Kung Fury had to and the hacker guy had made like this um I think the thing was like a power glove I think it was it's some kind of a glove that was like called like a called like made the portal thing and how the portal looked it made it looked like it was old fashioned animation from the eighties not not um not three like CG like like Pixar's films. But like Disney Pixar films, but the old fashioned Disney animation, like the Lion King and such, the portal, how the way that looked, and how Kung Fu was going through the portal, very well done. Like I said, for a little bunch of film, very well done. How he's going through the portal and he's riding on this thing, thing looked like a called a hoverboard, hoverboard, hoverboard. If I could talk right, um, and just, and then you get the get you get the um that song, um. With 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 Truce of Our by David Hasselhoff and Kling, a cameo by him when he's a voice of the car called um Hoff Nine Thousand. I thought that was, that was a fun little cameo appearance from da David Hasselhoff, and he did a great song as well at the end, and of course also the music video of that as well. It just it just it just it, it just has everything that's been thrown into this, you know, as one big epic, over the top spectacle, and I loved about this film.
it just really, it just, this film really just, it just, it just amazed me. It just blew my mind how, how this thing went. And if, if, and if, if they, if they, if they make a sequel, I would love to see a sequel to this. I would. Or better yet, if they ever want to do a live, a theoretical version, um, to release in theaters, you know, they better make it like this, you know, if they want to release a film like this in theaters or make a lot or make a version for the a full length uh movie length film but this film was just absolutely amazing to watch it's but it's definitely the best fan film that I have ever seen it just I give it a big applause you know I do this is a film I definitely would applaud for it through and everything that I got and, and that I wanted to see and how like I said the fact that it pays homages to the 80s with that, how the way it looks and the music from the '80s, and I really, I really loved about it. I really did. I don't know more, more, more I can say about Kung Fury. I strongly suggest if anyone who hasn't seen this movie, I strongly suggest you recommend. Or I, I recommend that you watch it. It's still on. It's still, it's still on there, on YouTube. It's about 30, 31 minutes. And if you, of course, if you don't like the, if you don't like it. Best Finds, your opinion. But this film was just absolutely... I was speechless. I was amazed. Every positive word that I can think of. <clears throat> I definitely give it both thumbs up. Five stars. Without a doubt. I just... I just I, I, lo I, lo I love this film. For a three minute video, I've seen this the last time. For a three-minute fan film, fan film that's very low budget, you know, with a fat with the effects that it worked with, it's better than some of the films that I saw that I see of today. Better than Star Wars: The Force, Force Awakens. So even though with even despite having great special effects in that film, but overall, better than Force Awakens. Better even better than, than Batman vs Superman. Or even better than. What are the ones? What are those big? What are the big films I can think of? Like, probably even better than the Hunger, the Hunger Games that I, the last one, because it came out in 2015. Um, trying to think what else for action wise. Well, I'll also include Fury Seven as well. Yeah, the action, the action in that Fury Seven just. Doesn't even come close to what I've seen in Kung Fury, but um, I I I I, lo I love this movie, and I would if they want if they're if they're gonna do a sequel, I'm I'm totally game. I really do. I hope they wish they hope they make a sequel. I will I definitely would look forward to seeing that, but. Yeah, I, I I enjoy Kung Fury. It threw it threw in everything that for an for an eighties person would like to see. Well, I was not born in the eighties though, but I would love to live in the. I would one of the things I would go to do or do time travel. I would love to live in the eighties, including the early nineties as well. But it, it was a great. This is what I expect. That I did well. When I first started, I didn't know what I expect, but when I found out they would paid homage to the '80s, that was great. I love that it paid homage to the '80s. You hear in the '80s music, like just everything that it threw in there. Over the top, over the top violence, action, gore, great special effects for a little, for what the money they worked with, the T Rex, the little ra raptors shooting lasers, or the arcade game coming to life. Um, just everything about it, and even like the, the like said the Triceratops, the Triceracop, the head of it, very well done special effects. Everything I enjoyed about it, everything paying more much the '80s. You know, we were like said you're watching like a VHS tape. You know, like how many of the screw up part. You know, or old that the like when the dream sequence where everything was like an '80s cartoon, which was very well done, which I I loved about it. 
everything they made that was like referencing like the 80s. That's why I absolutely loved about it. So. I, I, I don't want more I can say about this film. Kung Fury. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say one last time. Kung Fury, definitely recommend checking out, checking out this film. It's only 31 minutes. Definitely a thumbs up for me. So, so that's and the, 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 especially the, the actors who played the characters. They, they all did a phenomenal job. Like, the lead guy who played Kung Fury did a phenomenal job. Even the guy who played Hillary was funny as well. <laughs> and like I said, fun little cameo appearance by David Hasselhoff. Especially... With David Hasselhoff, like his parents are like in Piranha 3D. -D. This the his cameo appearance in this film was way better than that. But um, yeah. Effects, music, the look of it, oh, the action, gore, violence, everything I loved about it. I don't know more more, more I could say about Kung Fury. Best fan film that I've ever seen, hands down. I don't think there's no other fan film that's gonna come close to what this film it, what this film had. So that's that's why I have that's why I could say about Kung Fury, best fan film that I've ever seen. Anyway, thanks for anyway that's my review for Kung Fury. Like I said, for a three-minute fan film. Sally is better some of the films today. That's what Hollywood. This is what Hollywood should take notes from. Get with, with ideas, invent, inventive ways or creative ways. This is what's sad about it. But I guess Hollywood will, ne will never learn from this. They'll just continue doing with remakes and reboots, pointless remakes. Even though there is, even though there has been remakes, I did enjoy though. But most of them have been pointless and worthless. But yeah, this is what Hollywood should definitely take notes from. But what do I know? Those continue doing whatever they want. Well, anyway, this is what this is what this but this is what this is what our family film was meant to be: fun, entertaining, and that's why and that's what I got as you know, fan film, fan film. It's meant to be for. That one word alone, fun. And I had fun. So, yeah, that's my review for Kung Fury. I'm stopping right here, so I'm not going to keep repeating myself. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned on the next uh, movie review. Later.